Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of our RimWorld series. Starting this episode off a little bit weird, we actually had a small herd of Thrumbos come in. And while we're not going to tame them, we're going to do something a little better. We're going to uh, utilize their genetics. And by that I mean we're going to take them out and then take their DNA and, as always, make some kind of weird abomination to nature. Cool. Let's get to it. Now at this point, our blue squad of animals consists of German Shepherds and uh, Wolf Scarabs. And uh, let's see if they... Uh, Let's see if they can take down the Thrumbo. I don't I don't know if they can or not, but uh, that would be interesting to see. Yeah, and of course I tell them to do the wrong thing. And now you guys are all covering it up in the way, and I can't see. Move over, Louie, please. All right, force kill, please. Blue pack cannot attack in supervised mode. Ah, yes, okay, Um, kill. Thank you. I just wanted you all grouped up. Yeah, get him. Oh, yes, get him. Oh man, they're stun locking him. Uh oh. Oh, they might they might beat him without a scratch. That that was remarkably easy. Hey. Uh kill these two. And these two other ones. Like do it right now. Do it now, while their blood is fresh in your mouths. And hopefully our uh Dogs don't get too banged up. Uh, are you coming to attack? Okay, no, you're not. You're just like, yeah, that's Steve. I don't care about Steve. Let you know, you guys need him. And then they're like, oh no, you've turned on me. <laughs> oh boy, they're uh, they're doing pretty good. Oh, and when we attack this second to last one, this activated this other one. But he he's not even care. He he doesn't even care for the primary threat. He's like, now nah, I'm gonna come knock your door down, and beat the crap out of you, or not. He's just going to run around. Or maybe he's running away. Maybe he's like, nope, I'm out. It's like, you killed Steve and all my other friends, and uh, I'm done with this situation. But then all of a sudden, surprise! Insect dogs. Rawr. Pack animals, get them. I like how it sounds like they're beating on metal. <laughs> wow, and that was a... Uh that was a relatively e easy way to uh, get five thrombos. Those are usually <laughs> a, l a lot harder, but all right. Woohoo! Good job, good job, Blue Squad. You. That's why I made you Blue Squad. Blue is my favorite color, and you the best squad, full of best boys and best girls. Good job. And now we have a black hive attack. My God, that's a lot of insects. Huh. And a lot of my, uh, a lot of my assault robots are uh, currently gone so uh, let's uh might have bit off more than we can chew this time hmm we are completely surrounded by bugs on all sides <laughs> we, might be, we might be utterly and totally screwed uh seymour i would not be there if i was you these bugs are hella pissed off just uh just saying but they're about to breach the wall right there are we smart enough everywhere, where, er, blah, 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 everywhere else to build at least three blocks wide, but uh, not there, I guess. Oh, looks like they've broken through, though. Now they're all going to start coming this way. But that'll be okay. Hopefully they are spread out enough to where maybe they will come in one at a time. That'd be all right. Seems like for the most part we can maybe hold them off, especially with the German Shepherd insect dog squad of doom at least I hope so because we're uh, I mean it's good that they're not as smart and just not concentrating in one area but uh, we might be in trouble Bishop you're you're in a bad place okay we we might be all right here because even the big ones were killing pretty quick let's uh yeah, let's just let them come to us for a while. Hopefully the rest of them will catch on. We're like, hey guys, there's a hole over here. Let's, uh, let's go that way. Yeah, come on this way, big boys. Come to the funnel of doom. I was like, Siri, what are you doing? Oh, thank you for training the wolf scarab in the middle of a, in the middle of a combat situation. That's, that's good. Thank you. Okay, we're doing good. We definitely kind of lucked out with the fact that they spread out all over the place because now they're just, uh, well, they're doing exactly what I hoped for. They're all just kind of running in one at a time. 
Haven't had to send the German Shepherds out yet. I'm kind of keeping them back as a uh, melee defense force. And I hope to God most of them don't get uh, get shot up as they get in the ring. <laughs> so, you know, here's, uh, here's hoping for that. Okay, this right here will probably be the biggest push of all of them. And pretty sure we should have no problem. Yeah. I don't know why I was so worried. I thought... Now, if they all would have maybe came in at the same time, it might have been a totally different story. But, uh, we're good. We're, we're, we're good, I think. And if it wasn't bad enough for these bugs that we're about to just totally wipe out, I'm going to go ahead and tell our folks over here to get back because our uh, assault robots all just got back. Nah, maybe you should still shoot him though. Yeah. But anyways, I have come to send you to your maker. Uh, excuse you, how'd you get through? Yeah, good job Wolf Scarab 1. Oh, you guys aren't getting away from me. You dare attack me? All right, cool. And bugs take care of. Well, that was easy. No problem. Well, and I guess that Praetor either broke up with his side piece or he decided that strippers just aren't worth it anymore because now we can finally deconstruct everything. Yeah, we can also get some of that marble back because uh, a lot of my base is made of marble and I definitely need some. So we'll get rid of that now then. Well, and it happened two episodes ago where Albrecht and Siri fell in love, and today is the day they're getting married. Well, at least I thought they were getting married. There must be some kind of mod messing with something, because they've all pretty much will just hung around in the marriage spot for like 10 hours now, and some of them are starting to get hungry, so uh, I guess we'll have to uh, plan the wedding for another day. Because uh, either the pastor or whoever who was going to officiate it didn't show up, and... Uh, I guess it's like I we don't know what the next step is but hey look uh, Bishop told Athena that he wants to spend his life with her Athena agreed and the two are now engaged kind of tacky to uh, propose to someone at someone else's wedding but <laughs> it's it's the rim who cares um, but yeah so I guess uh, this wedding ain't happening what a sad day for everyone uh, no one got married and uh, someone else got engaged so cool tackiness all around Oh, well, now we had the defoliator ship just kind of drop on top of us. Oh, look at all those new uh, computer parts I'm about to get. Hmm. All right, well, we could probably go ahead and just deal with this now. Actually, I'll wait until morning time. Morning time has arrived, and it is raining, and it is uh, time to kill some mechanoids. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess just shoot whoever. Oh. Well, action bastards getting kind of wrecked with grenades, but... Oh. So is Styx. Yeah, why don't you pull back a little bit fine, sir? And you probably need to as well. Wow. Action bastard just died. Hmm. Well... This, uh, this might be a little, uh, <laughs> this might be a little bad. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and pull back a little bit more. Poor action bastard, he didn't know what hit him. Oh no, why would you hit that? Okay, and here comes our German Shepherd. Why? Go away. <laughs> Just go that way, please. <laughs> okay. The gang's a little beat up. Chef Boyardee, no. Please back up. <laughs> wow. Action Bastard, you, uh... You will be missed. You got kind of wrecked. Uh, yeah. Sticks, you probably need to back up, too. <laughs> oh, that was bad. How we, uh, how we looking? How we looking here? Chef Boyardee, go, go away. Uh, everyone else seems to be doing all right. Let's see if we can go back in there and take at least a few pop shots at people here. 
I swear. Go away. Stay over here. You do not want to be here, friends. Maybe we ought to focus fire instead of just letting them kind of scramble and shooting whoever. Definitely shoot the guy who lobs the grenades, please. Still doing alright. Uh, shoot the guy once again that lobs grenades. Then, let's focus on this crack in here. INR's getting roughed up, and so is scrap metal. INR, yeah, we need to back you up. Let's not lose two in one day, please. Hmm. Looks like we might need to fall back again. Or, uh... Oh no, scrap metal! Oh no! <laughs> And now we're lagging. Oh no! Not scrap metal! We did lose two! Back up! Regroup! Retreat! Man, we got kind of roughed up, but... The hospital at least came in handy. Now Siri and Athena can at least fix our, uh, fix our troops up. And then hopefully we can go back in there as another uh, carrier lands. Big whoop! Well, they still got quite a few of their Krakens out and about. But now you guys are going to get it. This is for all the bros we lost. This is for scrap metal and action bastard. Yeah. Yeah, good job commemorating those who died by totally missing. But hey, you guys got a few more chances. Come on, let's do it. Send it to them. Show them the might of our army! Did you guess? Yes, the absolute might of the Zweistein technocracy. Immaculate. Okay, maybe third time's the charm? Oh, I think one might have actually hit, but of course I didn't, uh... I did not see it, because, you know... Reasons. Come on, just just dump it into that big clump right there. Just send him those danger nuggets. Just just blast him. Just blast him. Good job. We are a military powerhouse. Well, I guess we have two more that we can just shoot real quick. Good job. I can't wait for that trade caravan that's just moseying up on its way to Fort kick ass, just be like, oh boy, we're having a good day, hope nothing bad happens. Right as the shell just hits him right in the face. So, we're gonna go ahead and destruct, deconstruct those steel artillery pieces, because, uh, either I'm not using them how they're supposed to be used, or they just suck, one or the other. Probably the first one. Alright, we're coming in to try this again. You will not get the best of us, robots. As Athena, the most susceptible of everyone is in the front. Get him! We're chocobo looking thing, go away! I really like how the animals in this game really do not care to gunfire or anything else that's going on around them. You know, maybe we should just kind of move around. Run and gun, my friends. Well, that Kraken's almost down. Yeah, get it. Come on, take out at least one of them. Sticks, you're doing all right. Athena, you're all right too. Stones is just over here chilling. <laughs> Einar's just standing in fire because that's what the cool kids are doing nowadays. Hmm. Really kind of feels like our weapons aren't really doing much. Yeah, it's it's time to pull back. No, Sticks, get out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sticks is bleeding out in seven hours. Don't do it. Don't you do it, Kraken. Kraken, get away. Kraken. No. Kraken. No. Just leave Sticks alone! Okay, good. Sticks survived. Awesome. 
and some poor random traveler is now going to have a bad day. Uh, Pifo to promo, you should probably not go that way. Just, uh, just a suggestion. I wouldn't want to tell you what to do, but there's some nasty things that way. Just saying. I don't think your little AK-47 is really going to do much. Now you're on fire, lady. I'm sorry. And now she's dead. And the Exodus Empire is angry at me. What? Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. One of your idiots just roamed into a mechanoid cluster that she could have seen, like, you know, 10 miles away. Right, well... We had to revive Action Bastard. He's now the Fallen Bastard. And him and Athena are gonna take some pot shots on these guys with uh, some sniper rifles. And my god, those have some high penetration and they're not doing anything. Hey, shoot, shoot this one. Wow, that just bounced right off. Oh, that one actually hit. That one actually did some damage. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 go, go ahead. Shoot them in the Botox. They really do not seem to mind. This was uh, not what I figured we'd do when I said pot shots. <laughs> oh yeah, good job, fallen bastard. Oh no, Athena's on fire. Oh no, don't run into them. Oh my God, what are you doing? Okay, so we're still, uh, still need to work on a better battle plan here as Athena's about to bleed out. We have also reborn another legend. However, now he is known as Scrap Metallica. We will have our vengeance on our bros. Okay, we're gonna try this again as Einar arrives first on a <laughs> spider scarab. I'm uh, I'm hoping this time we'll actually be able to uh, kick the booties. Pew! Okay, and a miss. I suppose that's all right. Dinosaurs, you might want to get out of here. Just, just saying. Oh, is that just clearly out of your range? No, not the dinosaurs! No! Well. I suppose the dinosaur has its purpose. Athena's persona sword is uh, getting kind of pissed at her that... Uh, since she hasn't used him to satiate his bloodlust. So I guess, uh, here's, uh, here's what we'll do. Yeah, all right, wonderful, awesome. Unfortunately, we're kind of already back to square one over the fact that those stupid mechanoids get about this far out and then they go, oh, nope, time to, uh, time to retreat. Can't overextend. Okay, maybe a little bit closer so everyone can shoot. It's, it's like they're totally unfazed. Shoot him in the butt. Okay, you need to hit him to, like, shoot him in the butt. Good job, everybody. Hmm. Is this a bad idea? Yes, indeed. This is a bad idea. This, this is also very bad. I just wanted one. This is such a bad idea. I... I literally wanted anything other than mechadoids. What is going on? Well, at least some of them were dumb enough to come this way. Excuse me. Where are you going? Th th this path is open. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, you went all the way around to hit that one. Hit to hit that wall, huh? Yeah, that'll that'll show me, friend. Yeah, you you go, little guy. I've I've got faith in you. Oh, look, the battle's starting. Yeah, get him. Don't let him through. Shank him. Oh man, that's that's a lot of mechanoids to be shoved in one small hallway. Super Saiyan Go! Super Saiyan Stones and Sticks! Alright, remember, anytime you will, do not look directly into uh, the light, otherwise you'll go blind. German Shepherds, get out of the way, but be on standby in case things look bad. Oh god, things are bad! I don't know what good dogs will- uh, The German Shepherd on fire can stun a mechanoid? What? What? This is a thing? Oh, but then it explodes and more of the dogs get on fire. Well, this is guaranteed now to be the worst way to have dealt with this situation because now, uh, <laughs> Bishop's about to die. Both of his arms were, well, right arm shot off, left radius shattered. So 
He's uh, gonna be worthless for a while. Oh, and Ath Athena decides now's a good time to have a mental break. She's like, I'm done with this situation. I need to remove myself. I need to go find who I really am. Do I really want to kill mechanoids? Is that what all that life entails? Thanks, Athena. All right, yes. Absolute worst way to deal with the raid is summon another raid. But we got some more mechanoids, so I guess that's good. And in the meantime, amidst all this fighting and recuperation, Orange Grasshopper, the chief of Kin League of Trado, uh, basically wants us to go take out a camp of other tribes people. And he's offering us a Resurrector Mech Serum. Don't have one of those, so definitely want that, just in case something happens to, like, you know, Albrecht or something. Now, with everything going on between keeping all of the assault robots up to date and healed everything, uh, there hasn't really been much research going on. We did unlock proficiency in our research, however, so now we can use all these uh, different modules when we create androids. And uh, we're basically going to create one that does nothing but science. And we've already got a name for this one. I'm going to take what another commenter said, and we're going to name her GLaDOS. Because literally all she's going to do is research and performing tests. Unfortunately, there isn't a module for snarky and witty jokes, so we're just going to have to kind of settle with what we got. She is literally going to do nothing but research. She has a burning passage, or burning passion, an intellectual, just so that it doesn't decrease from 20. Well, as easily, I suppose. Because that's literally all she's going to do. Nothing else. So uh, we also gave her wise to where uh, her research speed is even quicker. The science module itself increases that by 200%. Then we're also going to give her energetic global work speed by 20%. Uh, we should be flying through that research tree now. Uh, print, go. And I suppose it's <laughs> time to try yet again. Attempt number three, four, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're going to tell some of our guys to get into melee range here just so that these guys stop messing with us. And you know, that might have, <laughs> looking back at things, that might have been a poor choice. <laughs> run away, friends. Shoot and run. We do pretty good from a distance, but then that's about it. Well, I say that as Fallen Bastard, like, takes one to the everywhere. Oh, your friends are leaving you. Take them on. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just... We'll just bait them out one at a time. Oh, I guess you don't care that your friend's getting shot at. Okay. One down? Yeah, one down. Only three more to go. Carry this, you filthy casual. Oh no! What have you done? Tin Can! You've royally screwed us! Run away! Oh no! The situation has gone from worse to really bad. Really bad worse. Oh my god! This is bad. This is bad. No, stones run away. Okay, you started this mess. How about how about you help out? Oh, and some mechs have already broken through. Oh, I guess this door is just there for show. Um, dogs. Please kill? Yeah? Dogs kill. Get them, boys. No stones! Come on, friend! Get inside, my friend! Oh god, we gotta get our dogs involved. I don't know how good they are at these things. Alright, cool. Scrap Metallica's down. We'll, we'll have to revive him sometime. Oh no, not Fluffy McStuffin! Tin Can, that weapon is way too dangerous. Hold fire! Alright, it's good to see that this situation continuously devolves from bad to really bad to worse to astro astronomically worse to death. Lots of death. And then it also looks like we'll be uh, venturing into bionics a little quicker than I thought because now Chef Boyardee has lost his right arm. I'm sorry, his left arm. And, you know, no, no good chef 
is there ever is there like a good one armed chef out there? I I don't know. This 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 begs the question. Eduardo Garcia, an American chef. Eduardo Garcia, born 1981, is an American celebrity chef and the co-founder of Montana Mex, a Mexican food company. He is known as the Bionic Chef because he cooks with a prosthetic left arm. All right, so it looks like from now on, Chef Boyardee, he's he's gonna have to live up to uh, to be as good as Eduardo Garcia, because we're we're gonna try and give him a, a bionic left arm. He will also be a bionic chef, but from reading up on what this guy can do, he will not be able to live up to be like the real life bionic chef. The man sounds like a badass. Okay, well at this point. I really feel like I need to walk away from this session because uh, every, every everything is not it's it's it it's going bad. We uh, we uh, I I feel like I need to sleep on this. It's it's very bad. We're in a very bad spot right now. <laughs> we will overcome just like we always have. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.